welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part one. So let's jump right into it. Now just before we get right into it if you press the red and white subscribe button and if you also click the notification bell I upload at least three times um, but more recently I've been uploading because I have more time spare for work five times a week so um, but anyway I upload even though I'm really busy at, the, at work when I'm really busy I upload at least three times a week um, and it's uh, basically giving you the latest travel worldwide news. So, according to breakingtravelnews.com, I've got eight fabulous facts. So I'm going to fire away and at first off, um, again, it's all um, really good news uh, today, <laughs> yay, which I'm really pleased about. And um, number one is that uh, Jet2 adds thousands of turkey seats for late summer trips this year. So people that say haven't been able to get away. Um, we'll be able to book on jet2.com um, a summer trip, a late summer trip. So that's really good news. Jet2.com have increased flights and holidays to Turkey for the remainder of the summer on the back of continued demand from British holiday makers. So um, a lot of British holiday makers um, like to go to Turkey because not only it's beautiful, but it's also cheap. Or when I went um, and my family went out to Turkey, um, again, it was uh, really cheap um, while you're out there. So that's another plus point. And number two um, is Delta raises 16.5 billion in liquidity following Sky Miles deal. Now Delta has said it will borrow 16.5 million in fresh liquidity the airline plans to sell the senior secured notes and enter into a new loan um, both backed by its loyalty program so that's really good news so uh, all the best for delta and any other travel and or hospitality companies out there. Now, number three, rail operators are boosted by COVID-19 endorsement from Visit Britain. So well done to rail operators. Uh, putting the train back at the heart of business travel is the aim of the three UK rail operators who are basically backing a new customer conference scheme uh, by Visit Britain. So that's interesting. So I hope it really takes off for them. And um, number four, Pegasus um, launches a new route to correct Pakistan so that's really good news that Pegasus Airlines able to do that and Fred Olsen Cruises launches new Borellas cruise options as 
part of the Fred Olsen cruises um, because a while back or a couple of video vlogs back I was talking about Fred Olsen teaming up with uh, Borretti's cruise options so again I hope um, it all goes well for them now at uh, number six the world travel market London uh, to be viral only in 2020 so hopefully uh, they'll be able to get for 2021 etc um, for it not to go viral only and that um, people can come and visit um, in in the UK, Europe or all around the world uh, hopefully in 2021 fingers crossed however um, and I hope the event goes well anyway like every other event and um, number 7 MMGY companies Um, Griffco and Op her merge into one company so it's really good to see that uh, companies um, are, jo are joining together um, to get through uh, this pandemic which is um, a really good thing especially if companies are, can work together and last but not least Foson is to bring Thomas Cook brand back to the market so wow well I hope Foson um the best bringing Thomas Cook brand back and um I hope it goes as well as possible and I think um, again it'll be great um, for me uh, for people to have more options again to choose from um, within travel companies and like travel agencies where to book etc so um, I think that's going to be a good thing so thank you for watching everybody my next vlog is going to be for returning subscribers and viewers and that's going to be tomorrow and it's going to be again a vlog about my my channel so thank you everybody bye for now love you all everybody keep safe and um I wish everybody a happy week it's lovely sun in the UK here today um, or at least in the Midlands it is so thank you and bye for now thank bye